Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformer C77 Rodimus Prime. Let's take a quick look at the box. And yeah, I still got it in there. Uh, I'm not going to rip it open. He's not, he's MIB. There he is, Rodimus Prime, doesn't have his little cab. Here, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, the cab's the best part of this thing. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what kind, what to say about that. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the cab's the best part of that. Uh, there he is, he looks great on this cab, I'm not going to lie to you. Robot form is a lot left to be desired, the iconic scene that we all know and love from Volume 3. Yes, the series, this is Series 2, but it should be Series 3. And we got tech specs, and I do believe I have a tech spec reader in here. If uh, it doesn't run away. Uh, yep, I came with a lot of few things. Hey, it came with sticker sheet, instruction sheet. And what's this thing called right here? Yeah, the little card. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you. So, tech spec reader. If you can read that nonsense. Pause it. Do what you got to do. Read Japanese. I know that one means firepower. <laughs> Alright, enough about that. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy out of the box. Bottom of the box, if you need to know. There we go. Three points. So, yeah, he should have been in like a Voyager class. More like a leader class. Because... There he is. So, I really like this camper, whatever the heck futuristic camper thing. Came with two little panels, which you're going to put in the back here. Set that down here. Take a look. Hey, it's really cool. I mean, whatever it is, Winnebago, orange, big, huge Winnebago rolls. Uh, I had plastic wheels, so that's one thing I don't like it. So, already it's uh, kind of down on the G1. This is G1, by the way. Nice little orange decals. It's heavy on the orange. I love the flame decals. It's all about the 70s, man. Uh, for you, you futuristic vehicle, I guess this is futuristic for 1970s. <laughs> A lot of red. Okay, okay. It, let me just go ahead and show you what I don't like about this. Uh, yeah, I, haven't, I don't have it clipped on. But yeah, it, it looks good. Uh, I like the old one. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. If it had rubber wheels, it would have been better. But yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Translucent windows over here. All right. Yeah, it pops out really cool. And what the heck is that? I mean, cups is lame. Cup is lame. But that that that's his mold right there. What the? Oh. I'm gonna transform him. Just because I'm so disappointed. Like, because it's simple. I'm gonna need that later anyway. So don't worry about it. And pull that out. Yeah, that's his arms. Push that out. Flip that up head goes up yeah that's it and put the dang yellow piece it used to be up here yeah now we just pop it in over here really that's my most simplistic freaking piss poor excuse of a transformer that i have seen <sighs> three i'm gonna give, give it a three out of ten right now horrible substandard i mean for leader class you expect a lot more Arms just move up and down. That's it. Yeah, it, it makes it up that he's got this big, humongous freaking gun. And if you get the Masterpiece version, you'll see what I'm talking about. I guess he's overcompensating for something. Head moves up and down. That rotates. No leg movement. That's it. He got that. That's it. Yeah, this is a faux joint. I reckon... I don't know if it moves. I mean, there's a joint there, but I'm afraid I'll break it. Yeah, I'm signing a lot. Here he is for size comparison. So he's in between Deluxe Class and Voyager Class. So you can kind of tell right here. So in between that, forgot, he's about six and a half inches. So he's fairly tall. There's your size comparison. I already gave you the three and a half out of ten. But let's go ahead and show you the highlight of this. Why? What the redeeming factor over here? Yeah, I know he's no Optimus Prime. This Taylor isn't as big as his, but this is what's going to redeem him his freaking trailer. I really do not know, I do not know why they have these little panels. Uh, what, seriously, what is the sense of this? Why do we need these? Seriously, I, I don't even know if they go in, if I'm putting them correctly. They go in here somewhere, for lack of a better, I, I don't know. There we go. Yeah, I mean that right there redeems them. Not enough to give them give them another point. Four out of ten. <laughs> Gosh, he's freaking horrible. But 
yeah, he stands up in here and can aim at it. Like I told you, that is about the only cool thing about it. So his little alt mode is cool. He's got a freaking humongous gun and he can shoot. Well, YouTubers, that's all I got. And I catch y'all next time.